I know last video I said part two would come with an analysis of a game in action, but I changed my mind and decided that this is a step best done by yourself. Instead of having it taught to you, I encourage you to go online and play the Pokemon Trainer Challenge online for free, or getting two theme decks and trying the game out for yourself. If you're still curious about watching a competitive game in action, I have a few recorded on my channel, and you can watch one right here. If you want to watch hours of non-stop Pokemon games, check out the Top Cuts channel, because they're the biggest channel for recorded Pokemon trading card games, and it's pretty much all they do. Instead, I want to use part two to explain the different ways you can build your collection for building new decks. Let's look at the options. Theme decks, like I've mentioned before, are the best way to get into the game. They give you everything you need to start playing, as well as an online code card to use your theme deck with in the online game. However, for competitive collecting and saving money, they usually aren't that great. While theme decks sometimes come with strong Pokemon, such as Blastoise and Ice Shock, they're usually pretty light on good supporter and trainer cards. They also come with a ton of energy cards, which is great for starting a collection, but lame if you've already got a few cards under your belt. Theme decks usually run around 15 US dollars, making them a good purchase for beginners, but a little pricey for anyone else. But what if you want to start building your collection, or getting more cards to build stronger decks? Today's purpose is to run over the options available to you, as well as the best ways to save money doing it. Booster packs are the foundation of building a collection. A single booster pack today comes with 10 cards. 6 common, 2 uncommon, 1 reverse holo card, and 1 rare. They also come with an additional online code card, which lets you redeem a pack on the online client. Sometimes your reverse holo or rare can be special ultra rare cards, such as EX cards, Ace Specs, Full Arts, or shiny reprint cards. Booster packs are probably the most fun way to collect new cards, because they come with a random assortment of cards, making for a fun surprise. They're also the easiest method to find, because almost all major retailers carry a card selection near their checkout aisle. Single booster packs are, however, one of the most expensive ways to add to your collection. A single pack usually goes for around 425 in US dollars each, or a little less from the local card store. At my local card store, packs go for as low as 340 each, making them a little more affordable, but still a little pricey. Tins are another way to collect cards. Collector's tins come with a metal tin for holding your cards, four assorted booster packs, and most importantly, a promotional card at the top. Today's tins almost always come with an EX card, making previously hard to find EX cards much easier to come by. Cards that were previously very expensive, such as Mewtwo EX, Darkrai EX, and Keldeo EX, can now be easily obtained through collector's tins, and in a few months, tins for Lugia EX, Thunderous EX, and Deoxys EX will come making these very expensive cards much cheaper. They also come with a special code card that lets you redeem the promo card in the online game. Tins usually go for around 16 US dollars, or the price of four booster packs, but you also get the strong promo card as well. Booster boxes are the best way to order booster packs for value, and are a popular method for serious players and collectors. A booster box comes with 36 booster packs, but can be purchased online for much less than buying 36 packs individually from the store. For example, I bought my box of the latest set, Plasma Storm, from DA Card World, which cost $90. This is a pretty expensive investment, but if I bought 36 packs from a retail store, it'd cost me as much as $150 instead. Another strong suit to booster boxes is that they are usually reliable, and tend to have a set amount of ultra rare cards per box. For Plasma Storm, for example, I found that one booster box usually nets around 4 to 5 ultra rare cards total. When opening regular booster packs, your odds of finding ultra rare cards are very random. Booster boxes are very expensive, but are ultimately a great deal for serious players and are a ton of fun to open. Single card purchases are the preferred method of getting new cards for competitive players because you can save a lot of money getting only the cards you're looking for. There are a ton of websites that sell single cards, but the most popular are Troll and Toad, Collector's Cash, and eBay. Online, you can stock up on important trainer and supporter cards, such as Juniper, N, Ultra Ball, and Skyla, for much less than what you'd spend opening packs trying to find them. Single cards are also great if you want to play the online game, because you can buy bulk online code cards for booster packs pretty cheap usually around 50 cents each. A booster box in the online game costs only $13, quite a bit cheaper than the real-life counterpart. The only problem with the singles market is that it's driven by demand, and certain popular cards can become very expensive. For example, Deoxys EX is going for around $40 at the lowest right now for a single copy, and you usually need four copies of it to run the Team Plasma deck. That's $160 for four pieces of cardboard! Ultimately, one of the most unfortunate aspects of the competitive card game is that it's very expensive, 
Tins are always a great way to help players afford normally expensive cards, but sometimes you just have to bite the bullet. And the final method of getting new cards is trading. It's right there in the title of the game. Trading is a great way to get new cards because it allows two players to get rid of cards that they don't want in return for ones that they do. Trading in person between friends or with players at a local league is easy if you know a lot of other players. However, if you don't, or there aren't any leagues in your area, websites like Pokegym and Pokebeach have online forums where you can trade and mail cards to other players online. Trading can be a great value because you don't have to pay anything to do it, but there is always a risk trading your cards online. While both Pokebeach and Pokegym have a reference system that allows you to find reputable traders, there's always the slight chance that people will try and rip you off or that cards could get lost in the mail. I've traded online around 100 times and have only run into a bad trainer once or twice, but just keep in mind, it's always a possibility. Ultimately, collecting new cards for the Pokemon trading card game is one of the game's most fun aspects. Playing competitively is unfortunately expensive, but you can always prevent this by either playing online or using some of the methods I've listed to save money. Good luck building your collections, and I'll see you guys next time with a video explaining how to get into Pokemon tournaments. Thanks for watching today's video, and since we're talking about building your collection, I thought I'd help you guys build your collection through a fun little raffle where you can win a Plasma Freeze booster box, all 36 packs. Now because I want this video to be one that people will come back to all the time to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game, to distinguish your entries from the ones in the comments section, we're going to run this contest on Twitter. What I'd like you guys to do, if you're interested in winning this complete booster box sent anywhere in the world, Send me a tweet at TheJWits with your YouTube username, a card from Plasma Freeze that you'd like to get if you won the box, and the hashtag PlasmaWits. I'll be able to read through these, and at the end of the week, I will pick a winner, send you a YouTube PM, and ship you this complete box with 36 packs. Thanks as always for watching my videos. Hope you guys enjoy getting into the Pokemon trading card game, and I hope you have a nice day overall. Yeah, that was nice, right? Did it make you feel good? Did it make you happy? Because that's all I want to do, is entertain. <laughs>